Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you're an existing subscriber, I love you guys. Just, just know that. I love you guys and I care about you. If you guys want to interact at all, feel free to leave comments down below. Follow me over on Instagram at Shelly Tsunami. You're welcome to DM me over there. I try to respond to everything that I, that I get because I do want to interact with you guys. I want to know what you guys think, what you guys want. And I take insp inspiration from you guys. So I just really appreciate the interaction at all. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't get anything in PR. I buy it with all my own money. And so you get my honest, raw, sometimes unfiltered opinion on it. And sometimes that might be useful if you are also a lady of a certain age or if you're not sure where you should spend your money and you want an opinion from somebody who is not getting paid to do it not sponsored, not affiliated, not getting anything in PR. And I think there's sometimes when you get things in PR, you kind of feel like you have to say nice things about it, whether you believe it or not, because that's, and then, then there's the affiliate links and then they get money and it, this way, we're just talking. I don't know that I'll ever be a monetized channel, but it doesn't really matter because I'm doing this because I think that there is a, a need for honest conversation. Let's talk BoxyCharm. I have three BoxyCharm boxes in front of me. I filmed August. And then I don't think I ever edited it. I was just uninspired. So I have August, maybe I'll throw it in here. So this must be September, October, November, I'm guessing. I don't know because there's nothing on here that says. One of the boxes has a, uh, has a label on it, the, the label at the back, but it doesn't actually show any dates. I cannot find a date on it. Nor does the little card that they give you actually have a date on it. So I've got three of them here. We're gonna go through all of them. And the reason why I'm doing it in one is because I, I wanna show you guys some of the things that I purchased in mine or some of the things that I got in mine, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell you right now. I, I used to be on all, I think 2020, I had all three boxes. I had the base box, which is $25, premium is 35, and then Lux comes once a quarter, and that's $49. If you are on all three, they skip the base and then they charge you the difference and give you the luck. So you get two boxes. If you're on all three, you get two boxes every month, regardless. It's not like once a quarter you get three boxes. So that being said, I have gotten with the base, I felt like you being able to choose an item, at least you get that gets you get something that you're looking forward to. I like the add-ons. And you have to be a subscriber to be able to shop the add-ons. And I have really liked the add-ons. Um, so I keep going with it. I don't always buy a bunch of stuff. Like most recently I purchased stuff because I knew that Christmas was coming up, but I've purchased Natasha Denona or some other brands that I've really wanted to try, but you can get them at a discount. So that, that appealed to me, but the base boxes themselves haven't really inspired me. And I hate to say that because I, I think that there, if you're new to building a collection, I think there's some value in it. So let's just take a look at what I've got over my last three boxes. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I got. I don't have my reading glasses on, but I think I can get through most of it. I feel like this might be the most recent one. Maybe I'm going to start not start with this one. We're going to go, we're going to go back to this here. I don't know what order this, these are in, but I think this is the one that maybe came in September. When I say came in September, I think it was like the 29th of September. I, I don't get anything early. With the base box, you usually get like five or so, yeah, five full, uh, full size items. No samples, usually. In fact, it's been a long time since I think I've got anything travel size or sample size in it. So the first thing in here, let's see, the theme for this one is BTS, which I think is behind the scenes. There's also like a Korean boy band BTS. I don't know if that's the same. I don't think it's the same thing. So the first thing in here is the Glam Glow Youth Mud. That's this big box right here. Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating and Exfoliating Treatment Mask. Exfoliates with volcanic pumice to help smooth the appearance of fine lines and visibly soften skin's texture while natural clays lift impurities without disturbing skin's essential oils. Antioxidants from green tea, smooth for more glowing, youthful looking skin instantly. MSRP on this is $60. So the box itself is 25. This product alone is like double the price of just the box. This actually, by the claims on this, this actually seems like something I would use. Depending on how big the jar is inside of this, it's probably too big for me to travel for work. And that tends to be where I do the majority of my masks these days when I'm in a hotel room by myself at night on the road. I try to get caught up on, on face masks and stuff like that. Okay, the next thing in here is the half caked Best Friends Forever in Bloom Duo Fiber Brush Set. That's this box right here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. I feel like this is supposed to be a sort of blush and brush. Let me see here. Okay, so there's the brush, super pretty, Duo Fiber. Looks a little bit like the MAC Duo Fiber Brushes. Maybe not as full as the MAC Duo Fiber Brushes, but this might be good for a blush application. So what else is in here? 
the next. Okay, so that's the other thing, and it's got half caked in bloom. The shade is called Me and You, looks like. And that's very pale. Hmm. Okay, let's try the blush. A lot of kick up. I'm just turning on the back of my hand because I already have a face full of makeup. That seems very light for me. This might be a good, hmm. We'll have to see how it looks on skin. Uh, the, the jury is out on this one, whether or not I'm gonna be able to get used to it, because it seems like a very, very light shade. I don't know that I love that. Meet your blushes, your blush BFFs. Get intense pigment with a matte finish that will take you from day to night. Apply to the apples of your cheeks or tops of your cheekbones with 100% synthetic brush. Customer created a given airbrushed finish. Develop with sensitive skin in mind. The fragrance free formula gives you the perfect flush every time. $22 MSRP for, for two. You know what? I've paid 22 bucks for a brush. So the brush alone, I'm, I'm going to put some on here. We're just building up the blush today. Okay. You know what? I do like a soft coral look. So, and the fact that it's matte, I think can help tone down the shine that I had going on from earlier today. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to play with this in conjunction with other products as a blush alone. I'm not sold, not, not completely sold. Okay. What's next on here? Georgette Klinger, Georgette Klinger Marula Primer. So this says, I think this is a face primer, right? Blur imperfections and ensure all day radiant finish, hydrating and long wearing. Cushions the skin with advanced hyaluronic acid, ensuring silky smooth makeup application that won't settle into pores, fine lines, or dry areas. A nourishing blend of mar marula oil and vitamin A, E, F, and B. Locks in moisture and protects against visible signs of aging. Ideal for oil and silicone-based foundation formulas. MSRP is $32. Here's the thing. I've, I've switched to a lot of more moisturizing primers lately just because of the time of year it is. I put on one the other day, it was like an elf one. It smelled like petroleum and that wasn't, that was kind of horrendous and it made my skin feel weird. So I think that one's bad. I'll try a little bit of this on the back of my hand and see what it smells like. I don't smell anything on it. Did it say it was fragrance free? It's a lightweight gel formula, I would say. Yeah. Okay, here's something to keep in mind with hyaluronic acid, you guys. It will point, pull moisture from your skin. So keep that in mind. It's not going, if you're looking at hyaluronic acid, just keep in mind, some people might find that it's super drying for them if they're if they tend to be dehydrated my camera is blinking at me so i'm gonna have to change batteries give me just a second we're back hopefully i've got you in roughly the the same spot so the primer you know what it now that it's had a chance to dry down i do feel like it's kind of blurring yeah and i love the fact that it has all those nourishing oils in it all of the vitamins the marula oil vitamins a e f and b along with the hyaluronic acid yeah i'm excited to try this I, after it, it soaked into my skin and kind of dried down a little bit, it does have kind of like a matte finish. That might actually bode really well for makeup application. Next thing on here is the Pinky Rose. Which one is that? Okay. It's the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Multi-Use Makeup Base Sticks. Cream-based multi-use makeup stick that can be used on the eyelids as an eyeshadow or as a primer to your eyeshadow. It can also be used as bottom lash line, waterline, brow bone, or lips. Perfect duo to be used together or separately. $20 MSRP. That says duo. That sounds like it's two products, right? Let's take a look here. Oh no, it's like literally two products. All right, so there were literally two products in here and these do seem like eyeshadow sticks. Okay, I like an eyeshadow stick. See, that would actually work really well for me. One of my complaints with like the e.l.f. shadow sticks is that they are all shimmery. And as is the Thrive Cosmetics one, they're all very shimmery. I think that actually would make a good quick eyeshadow base. And then the other one is more of kind of a bronzy shade. So I'm swatching it next to it, pretty, and I'm doing it over the top. A little bit more muted when you put it over the top of the other eyeshadow base. So one on its own, it looks very orangey, and then a little bit more muted when you add it on top of this one. So this is actually kind of fun. I'll, I'll use these. Yeah, I like the fact that I can layer them and get kind of a soft color, and that, that you have it on its own. It's a little bit more of an orange copper. So that's okay. What did it say MSRP on this? $20. $20 for two of these, $10 a piece. Yeah, I think that's fair. It's a fair price. And then the last thing on the list here is the insert name here, uh, Quick Slick Hair ens Essence. Quick Slick is designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair. No alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, non-irritating, non-flaking essence to slick and smooth your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. $20. Now, insert name here. I've bought hair from them before like the extensions and um, some of them I really like I think I bought one recently that was like a two-piece where you could do part of your hair up my hair is finally starting to grow a little bit but boy I'll tell you when you're traveling <laughs> 
and you don't have a lot of time, it's super easy to throw your, your natural hair up in whatever condition it's in into a ponytail and then clip on a, a, a hair extension. I've been meaning to do a video on that and I have not, sorry. Okay, so this is the insert name here, Quick Slick Hair Essence. I don't know that I, okay, I do get kind of a light scent. It, it's a very interesting wand here. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, it's like flat, but then curved. So I think you're supposed to use it for your baby hairs, right? I don't have a little tiny, I don't have a lot of little baby hairs. We're just gonna put some right here and see what it does. Yeah, I don't have, I guess maybe right here I do. See, now I just feel like I drag it all the way through my hair. I think if I had little tiny baby hairs, okay. Yeah, that kind of cleaned up right there versus these ones are kind of still, I don't know, can I use it on my eyebrows? I might use it as just like an eyebrow. The wand's not horrible for that. I don't know, I've never, I don't have little tiny, tiny baby hairs that I've been worried about pulling up into something. Maybe I should, maybe this is like a whole thing that I need to be aware of <laughs> that I haven't been doing and now I kind of feel ashamed for myself. But it, you know what? I might actually just use this as an eyebrow gel in all honesty. It doesn't hurt my, hurt my feelings. Five items on here, $156 MSRP on this one. So that was box number one that has been sitting here for a while. And I think maybe just because I have so many other skincare items that are open, I didn't need another mask out right now. I do like the eyeshadow base stick. I'm actually glad I have that because I think I'll use that quite a bit. The primer. I'm actually really excited about the primer in that box. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use those things. I'm I'm glad to have them in my collection. Again, I've just been inspired by Boxy Charm lately and now I've just been sitting out here. Okay, I'm gonna do what I think is the next one. I think that was September. I think this is October. So you're gonna have to tell me if I'm wrong. The theme was spellbound. And again, five full-size items in here. First thing on here is Tarte Wink of HTO Vegan Collagen Eye Cream. So that would must be this one. And I've seen some other stuff before that's the C, C formula, I think is what it's called. I don't know, the C, C line, but I haven't tried any of them. Tarte's kind of hit and miss to me. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, it's still sealed. Do I want to open it? I can't smell it through here. I don't want to open it yet because I have some other eye cream that I just purchased and I really want to get a good review on it. So I'm not going to open this one right now. But this is the Tarte Wink of HTO Vegan Collagen Eye Cream. I like the fact that it's collagen, right? Uh, and I like that it's vegan. Like an espresso shot for your under eyes, a vegan skin loving eye cream that reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles for a fresh, youthful look. Weightless water-based formula gives a lifted effect and is cl clinically proven to deliver 24-hour hydration, helps firm and fight signs of aging with Hydroflex technology and creates a crease-resistant base. $35 MSRP on this. This might be something I didn't know I needed. It's been upside down the whole time. I don't know what I'm doing. This might be something that I'm super excited about. When it said, like an espresso shot for under your eyes, my first thought was, does it have caffeine in it? That interests me. Oh yeah, it does say that it has caffeine in it. So it says 24-hour hyd hydration, peptides, caffeine, marine plant collagen, and then it says algae and dermatology tested. I'm I'm now more excited about this. So, okay. Ace Beauty or Beauté, I don't know, Falling For You palette. That's this palette right here. I've had a number of Ace Beauté palettes before, but I don't have this one. Let's see, this probably would have been more appropriate in, in October. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty bright. Although some of these, like this row of purples, I would absolutely wear those in winter. And these kind of uh, pinky shades, I would wear those in winter. I might not do like this bold lipstick shade right here. That might be too orange for me during winter, but I think I can still get use out of it. Like the fact that it's got a super dark shade. It does have a gold. I feel like every palette these days has a gold shade in it. And then that orange, sorry, my fingernails are so ganky right now. Those might be kind of fun to play with because they're mattes. And this palette has, so it's got 12 shades and only four of them are shimmers. That actually excites me. Let me know if you guys want me to come back and do three looks with this palette. If it was something that caught your eye, if you want to talk about Ace Beauté, or if you want me to kind of rank the Ace Beauté palettes that I do have. Because I think I have like four or five of them now I can kind of at least give you my thoughts on each one of them. The Falling For You palette, which makes sense because it's probably fall inspired. Falling For You palette represents some of your most favorite things about the fall season. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. MSRP $34.95 and it says it's a new launch. I will play with that. 
these these kind of oranges are sort of fun that that it's almost like a red it's almost like a tomato red i might be able to actually do a really kind of fun pretty look with that okay and then the next thing in here is the tint beauty lash and brow duo that must be this one right here this duo solves the endless search for mascara and brow gel in the abyss of your makeup bag i don't know that i've ever like had to go find <laughs> mascara and brow gel all at the same time and then been, been frustrated but Okay, maybe somebody has, and that's the reason why I came up with it. Uh, it combines two products in one. The mascara is created with a smooth, all-rich all formula with strong color payoff, leaving lashes longer, naturally fuller looking, and thicker without clump. The brow gel is fine and creamy with enough color to achieve naturally hair-like strokes of color for fuller and well-defined brows. MSRP is $29. Two in one products for $29. Okay, $15 a piece, or $14.50, I guess, $29 if I want to do exact math. Let's take a look at this. Uh, package is cute. Actually, I really like the package. I've never heard of tint before. This must be the brow gel side. Oh yeah, it's got a little tiny spoolie and it's a dark brow, a dark brown. I didn't really do much with my brows. We're gonna try it here. Okay. Actually, it feels like a thick formula, which is nice because I think a lot of the brow gels that I've tried these last few days or uh, for a while now have been such thin formulas that it, it's just a weird application. I actually like that. And then the other side is a mascara. And it's a fine wand, tapered, it's not curved at all. That actually might be really good for kind of getting to the base of your, your lashes and then wiggling it up. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, I like mascara. I mean, it's, I don't do false lashes, so it's one of those things that I would have to have on a deserted island. Um, and then the next one is the Camara Aonique, C-A-M-A-R-A. Camara, not camera. Camera? Camera has an E, right? So Camera Onique Beauty, A-U-N-I-Q-U-E. It's like it's trying to be French, but I'm not really sure. Onique Beauty. Mary Lash. Okay, so it says, is that what this is? Oh yeah, they're false lashes. I don't normally wear faux lashes. What do they say here? It says, this is the most natural lash in the collection and is perfect for a woman who wants to keep it real with her beauty. It's soft and light whisper lash that looks perfect on all eye shapes. $25. It says, new brand of boxy. New Brandy Me Too. Never, never heard of Camara Onique Mary Lash. Mary Lash must be the style. And I just don't wear a lot of lashes, so. It doesn't come with glue, and it doesn't look like it's a magnetic kind, so you're gonna have to have, buy your own glue to go along with that. Um, maybe I'll do a look, I'll do a glam holiday look with a red lip and a faux lash or something, I don't know. And then the last thing is the Appeal Cosmetics Adhesive Liquid Liner. This is the newest and most innovative way to apply your faux lashes. There you go, problem solved. Uh, step aside tubes of glue. This ultra fine liner is easy to apply and a hot way to spice up any eye look. That's this, I should have been showing it to you. Uh, MSRP $29. So this is from Appeal Cosmetics. Adhesive Liquid Liner. So it's, a, an, it's an eyeliner, a black eyeliner that you would use to apply your lashes. The, kind of brilliant. Kind of like the magnetic ones, right? The magnetic liner that you would use and then stick your lashes to it. This solves the problem of worrying about hiding your band, I guess. Okay, so I need to make sure to keep these two products together and I'm just gonna swipe it on my, oh yeah, that's a nice, a nice, is it a felt tip? Yeah, a nice felt tip applicator. Kind of fun, I need to keep these, I need to find a way to keep these two products together so that I know to use them together. I need a rubber band or something to hold them together. I've got it kind of stuck together. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they did that because I was like, I'm never gonna wear them if I don't have any lash glue. And I know I've got some in a drawer, but okay. MSRP on this, a total MSRP, $152.09. That was for what I believe is my October boxy term. Okay, and then we have one more. <laughs> So this is invite only, it says on here. On the front, it says shop our annual holiday blowout sale now and score up to 80% off retail. Get a free gift valued at over $40. New deals will drop all month long, but hurry, gift quantities are limited. Shop now, BoxyCharm Duck. It's their beauty bash. I may have already purchased from it. Okay, so let's get through these really quickly. First thing on here is a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. This is the Sunset eyeshadow palette. So if this is supposed to be November, what does the November eyeshadow palette look like? We don't get makeup in every single boxy charm, but that's what the palette looks like. That's actually really pretty. I like the fact that you've got your neutral browns. That makes it super easy, wearable, everyday eyeshadow. You've got a dark color to, to smoke things out. You've got a fun pop of purple and kind of like these warmer shimmers right here, like in a kind of almost like Adobe. 
they look they look very similar actually sunset and blush look like very similar shades in the in the pan this actually has looks like three shimmers maybe four this vanilla might be a shimmer as well let's just take a look here oh yeah that's a shimmer too so we've got four shimmers and the rest are mattes yeah so 10 shades in here four of them are shimmers i like that combination because i tend to wear more mattes with just like a pop of shimmer what does this say here? Violet Voss, Violet Sunset Eyeshadow Palette and Pressed Pigment Palette. So I guess with pressed pigments, maybe they're not supposed to be used on your eyes. Get your daily dose of Magic Hour with a Violet Sunset Palette. Color story inspired by the magical colors of the sunset. Your eyes are sure to be the main attraction. It provides iconic everyday warm neutrals, what I said, and complimentary pops of color to achieve all the looks you desire and more. Experience Violet Voss addicting formulas in the perfect mix of mattes, shimmers, and metallics. Always pigmented and extremely blendable. MSRP is $37. So this is saying this is a boxy exclusive. You know, on one hand, I don't know that I would have chosen this on my own. I guess I can show you the, there we go. There is, there's the focus on it. I don't know that I would have necessarily chose this on my own because I feel like I've got a number of these colors already in my collection. But now that I look at it, because I've been traveling more for work, I can see, okay, yeah, the browns I would use for work. I can see getting use out of that. And then you throw in, you know, either a purple or a coral depending on what you're wearing for something, you know, like a travel day or, or an evening thing, kind of spice things up, fun. If you want me to come back and do like three looks with this palette, leave me a comment down below. Tell me. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll, I've got a couple other Violet Voss palettes and I haven't, the jury's out on them. I've been like, mm, it's fine, but I don't reach for them. So I'll be curious to see if they've changed something with their formula or if it's the same formula. I kind of felt like it was maybe a little dry and a little patchy. But I don't remember because I don't use it very often. I don't know. Tell me. Violet Voss, yay or nay? You guys, you guys be the judge. Next thing on here is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. That's this right here. Now, goat milk is actually fantastic. Kate Somerville, I have hit and miss on. I don't really care for their exfoliation. The exfoliate, I don't care for that at all. But the Goat Milk, milk Moisturizing Cleanser, I bet I'll use this. I'm not going to open it right now because I have another like a cleansing balm and a two-step cleansing thing. But I'm actually excited to have this because I think the, the goat milk is super moisturizing and I do have dry skin. So I'm I'm actually excited for this. This is a this is a big item. What do they say about this? Kate Somerville, where's the there's the front. Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. A gentle daily face wash. It's formulated to cleanse and soothe without tightness or irritation. Love that. Uh, it's enhanced non-foaming non creamy formula, removes makeup, dirt, oil, impurities while maintaining skin's radiance and essential moisture. $40 MSRP. Stuff's not cheap, right? The Kate Somerville line, just in general, is not cheap, but when you get it in a boxy, I think, you know, you end up getting something like this for like nine or 10 bucks. I'm just saying that this might show up in, a, in an add-on or a boxy pop-up. Based on this, the way they describe it, actually sounds really good. And one of the things I struggle with is when I wash my face, right when I get out of the shower, if I don't immediately spritz a hydrating mist on just right away, my skin gets so dry and parched feeling and it's just annoying. So if this is a cleanser that your face still feels moisturized, but it feels clean, I'm okay with it not being foaming. I don't, I don't need foam. I don't need foam in my hair. I don't need foam on my face. Uh, I like foam on my, on my soap though. I don't like it to be too foamy. It has to be like a liquid soap that foams up not just like comes out foamy because then I feel like it just doesn't get you clean. Who knew? Who knew that we'd be such connoisseurs and be so picky about hand soap? Thanks, Corona. This is Glow Oasis Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner. So we got the cleanser. Now we've got a milk toner. This actually sounds good. Give thirsty skin a drink of milk dew. What's, what's milk dew? I mean, I grew up in a dairy farming community. So it brings to mind all kinds of mental pictures of what milk dew might be. Toner Meats Moisturizer features a blend of apricot kernel oil, soybean extract, and cyca extract to deeply hydrate condition and soothe the skin. Perfect energy boost needed to revitalize dull, dehydrated skin with its pH balancing formula. Vegan toner improves the skin's texture and tone. It also helps remove any last traces of dirt or excess oil that can cause breakouts or irritation. MSRP is $34. Is this a spray? I love spray. Okay, it's not spray. So the, the good and the bad thing on it is you're either gonna have the throwaway cotton rounds, which encourages waste, or you do like the bamboo, like is also in here. These are kind of like puffs, but you can do a like a, a washable, and, and I get them off Amazon, a little bamboo 
rounds that you can use. I actually prefer a spray toner, a spray moisturizing mist type toner. That's like my favorite. So I don't know if I'll keep it in this or if I'll find a way to put a, a spray top on it. But the fact that it, you know, can help remove any makeup, I guess if your Kate Summer Roll didn't get it all off. So that's kind of fun. And then there's two more products in here. The next one is Trust Fund Beauty. This says better than therapy lip oil. It's rough out there, but lips don't need to be. Take a minute for some sexy self-care with better than therapy lip oil infused with uh, therapeutic vitamin E to give your pout some TLC. It's both a lip treatment and a delicious clear gloss. Use alone or as a perfect topper for lipsticks and lip liner when you want a ultra juicy look. MSRP is $18. So I like lip oils. I'm okay with that. It's a good time of year to have lip oils. Of course, I've got a matte lip on, but I love this combination. This is from that ColourPop Quartz collection, if you guys are at all curious. Okay, so it's a clear lip oil. I actually keep a ColourPop lip oil in the living room that I put on kind of when we're watching TV and stuff and just never never stays on. So I'll, I'll, I'll give this a try. I'm actually kind of thrilled that I have so many skincare products right now to play with. I mean, like I literally, and I have one more thing. Let me, let me finish. I'll, I'll tell you this. This is the last thing in my last boxy charm. This is the LaRousse Beauty Face Disc. Okay, we're going to do the gray one because it'll be easier to see against my black sweater and stuff. Okay, so this says, and there's three of them in here, wipe away your day with this alternative eco-friendly solution to disposable makeup wipes and cotton pads. It contributes towards a safe and sustainable planet due to its reusability and washability. The organic bamboo cotton has soft plush fibers that will gently remove impurities. Its versatility means it can be used for different types of applications. $24 MSRP for three of them. These are a little bit bigger than the other ones that I use. These are, this is kind of cool. I like the fact that it comes in this little reusable case. That's kind of cool. These are super cool because you can just throw them in the wash. I would be careful about th like the white one here. I would want to throw it with my whites, but if it's covered with makeup, because either you've been using it to apply makeup or you've been using it to take off makeup, the black one is probably going to end up being my favorite just because I feel like it might stain less if I do use this to take off makeup at night. Would I use it with the toner? Maybe. I would worry that the toner would soak into it and then you wouldn't be able to get it on your skin. So that would be my kind of caution against that. Okay, you guys. Total MSRP on the invite only boxy charm, which again I think might be in November, $153 MSRP. So all of them right around the same price range, $150, $295 up to $154 ish, seems like kind of that range. For $25 investment, I did get some products that now I'm more excited. I think when I first got them, when you get them just as the single box, it's like it's not a face full of skincare, it's not a face full of hair care, it's not a face full of makeup. But then when you store up and you get a couple of them now, now you're like, oh, now I've got like a full regimen of something. That's kind of how I'm feeling about it. I'm I'm not upset. Now I was kind of bored before, but now I'm like, oh, okay. Now I'm going to get excited. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about BoxyCharm. Are you kind of still in love with BoxyCharm? Do you look forward to it? Is it your little $25 treat that, you know, you can't imagine not having and you really get excited about it? Or are you just kind of like, nah, I'm over it. I'm thrilled now to try some new products. I'm excited. Tis the time of year to try some new products. I'm still glad that I don't have all three. That was overkill. I have a huge bin of, of products now that came when I would get all three boxes. I don't go through it that, ma that much. I do have to film a, 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 a trash video. I should probably get started on that to show you some of the things like kind of like little speed reviews. I've got a bunch of stuff I'm working on filming. So I might start going back to doing three films or three videos a week instead of just two. I've got so much that I pre-filmed, um, but I need to get it and put up here before it's just too old and yesterday's news. We don't, we don't like that. We like things when they're current, right? Anyway, I hope this was interesting to you guys. I am excited about a number of these products. If I do end up digging into them relatively soon, then you might see them in a, in a trash or an empties video and I'll give you my speed review on them at that point in time. So if you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys around. I'd love to interact with you guys. Any of these products, I, haven't, I don't think I've tried any of the products that are that are in here. Versions of them maybe, but not, not any of them. So if there's one that you are like, oh my gosh, that's my ride or die, you're going to love that, let me know so I can try it sooner than later. That's all for today. I hope you guys are doing really well, and until my next video, bye for now.